All right, this video segment's from CBC. It's in a response to Israel's attack on Jabalia Refugee Center. And they attacked said center because there was a Hamas leader inside. Palestine, she's also the former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, and she joins me now. Navi Blais, nice to have you in the studio. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I, I'd like to start with, with what the latest of what's happened in Gaza. The Israel Defense Forces admitting, confirming that it launched a military strike into a refugee camp to target a Hamas commander. At this point, we know dozens killed, hundreds injured. What's your reaction to this? Whether Israel is embarking on a strategy of self-defense, uh, protecting itself, or uh, it has to follow international law. International law on self-defense prohibits indiscriminate bombing. And now, from what you tell me, this is an example of indiscriminate bombing. You cannot crow uh, fire into a crowd when you're seeking to nail one individual there. That alone is taking a huge risk. Civilian lives must be protected. That's an obligation that all member states signed up to. Is there a justification? Israel says there is a senior Hamas leader in there who played a significant role in, in masterminding what happened on October 7th and that Hamas is using civilians as human shields. Does that in any way justify, in your view, their decision to strike this camp? It does not. Once again, let me cite international law. Um, it has to be necessity, so was it really ne necessary? Maybe it was from their point of view. They identified uh, a, a person they were after. So yeah, the Israelis will just say, well, it was necessity. He was a terrorist mastermind. We had to get him. Yeah, civilians died, but Hamas is a terrorist organization that uses civilians as human shields. There was nothing we could do about it. If you're any military embedded in a civilian population who pose an ongoing risk in your view to your security without violating international law, what, what is the legal way to do that? David, uh, there's a military way, I bet. I don't mm -hmm. know. All I know is the legal way is the, the protection of the civilians around that individual rank prior to them reaching their target. They have to find ways of reaching that target without harming civilians. And again, that's why terrorists use civilians. Dress up as them, walk amongst them, and uh, put their weaponry in hospitals and stuff. What you've been seeing? Within two days of the 7th of October, when Hamas launch their attack against civilians in Israel, we issued a statement. We were the first UN institution to do so. We condemn that attack. I love it when she lifted up her chest in pride when she said, oh, well, we were the first to condemn the attack. And I still stand by that. You condemned Hamas's attack. Hmm. Something tells me they don't care what you say or do. Why? Because it's just words. I'm pretty sure they know the UN won't back it up with any form of action. And by they, I mean both Hamas and Israel. Well, anyway, I saw this video and as soon as she said necessity, I was like, you do realize the Israelis are just going to say it was a necessity, right? Well, take care out there.